Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie. Jumping back into X Defiant. Playing some of the, uh, I forget this game mode name. Escort. <laughs> I've been slowly working through like challenges and unlocks and this is one of like the core challenges. It's to get um, 10 wins in Escort. So I'm only at two wins currently. Let's see if we can uh, get a win here. Currently on defend. Oh. Ooh, got me good. So I've been working through challenges, like I said, and I got, um, oh, there's a guy down there. Got him. And they're moving here, so let me jump over here. Um, I've got, like, all the weapons unlocked, and pretty much all the factions, the last thing I need is, uh, assist with these spider bots. All the other factions, I've gone through all their challenges. Um, and then I've also completed... Uh, I've completed all the handguns, at least unlocking um, the like all the attachments. I haven't like max leveled them. Oh darn! So my spider bot out here. So this game's actually been really kind of growing on me. The feeling there's a sniper on my right. <laughs> um, but yeah, this game's really been growing on me. I uh, I've been playing it quite a bit as of late. I think it's pretty, it's a pretty solid game. Let's throw a flash over there. Oh. Let's push up a little bit. Oh. So normally I feel like one thing that I've really been liking about this game is it feels like for the most part, People are actually playing the objective. Oh man, I kind of played that pretty terribly there. Enemy is closing on the checkpoint. But normally I feel like a lot of people are actually playing the objective. It's weird. This one, uh, so far at least, it seems like the enemy team isn't really playing it too much. It seems like they care more about sniping, which ultimately I guess is not a bad thing. I mean, if they want to do that, that's fine. Got you. Let's try and uh, flash him there. I always want to say stun, because in Call of Duty, I prefer stuns over flashbangs. So every time I throw one of these, I'm always like, oh, I'm going to try and stun him. It's like, oh, nope, flash. Try to destroy that shield. The EMP grenades are really nice because it can just destroy him really quickly. But I had switched over to using the flashbangs because there was one match that a guy was using him so much and I was constantly getting hit. And I was like, this is actually pretty effective that I kind of want to start using him. Uh, also, for the um, EMP... Oh, see? Like that. <laughs> like, that's really effective when you get hit. Um, the EMP... Like, there's some challenges that require you to, like, shoot these shields. And I was constantly destroying with EMP grenades, so... It was harder for me to get that challenge done, so I wanted to switch away from that. And I was using frags for a while until... I got just utterly destroyed with flashbangs. It's gotta be right there, right? Oh, One of the nice things uh, about this game, at least I think is really good, is... It does feel like weapons are fairly well balanced. Like, that sniper getting that one hit... I think it's pretty balanced because for the most part, you got to be good. You got to actually like be good enough to someone comes around a corner like that, get on target and then get the hit. And every so now and then I do like when I was using snipers, you will get every now and then hit markers. For the most part, if you aim head or upper head, oh, that's a shield. Let's destroy that. Oh, try and reload while I'm flashed here. Oh, they put up another shield, I think. Oh, I think I stunned my or flashed myself. Ooh. I have a problem with uh, when I jump shot, I try and like, I try and like accommodate and kind of aim down a little. I always overcompensate and go a little too far down. 
Try and destroy this. Well, I initially said <laughs> they're not really playing, but now they are. And I feel like they are going to get to the end here. Oh, and that's a shield. Yeah, of course they're going to get to the end. Let's reload here. Oh, and I forgot about my little spider bot. Let's throw him out. I think you can get up on one of these. Oh, I think I have to be somewhere else. I just didn't want an enemy to come drop in behind me. Oh, I looked the wrong way. Oh, let's try and destroy that. Oh. Is that an it? <laughs> Was I shooting at a teammate or an enemy? <laughs> I just started shooting. I'm pretty sure I saw blue, but at the same time, this thing was moving. Oh, who's throwing that shield? Oh, that might be up top. That might have been from up there. Oh my goodness gracious. Stop off again. Oh, they might be coming from here. That's probably what I'm missing. Oh, that sounded like it was up there. Get my spider bot out. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize I was so low on ammo. Yeah, they got this. Come on, we got this. We got this. Come on. No. <laughs> wow, they did that really quick, too. 822. I guess that's kind of average. The... Since I've been playing this to try and get that achievement, I do think that eight minutes is kind of average, actually. I feel like most of the time, when it's completed, it's eight minutes. So one of the things that I really like about this game is the simplicity of it. It's not overly complicated. There's not a bunch of weapons to choose through. Which, you know, as time goes on with this game and they introduce more content, that could change. But in its current state, it's very simple. And I just feel like, you know, anyone can kind of pick this game up and just start playing. Toss that out there, see if there's anyone kind of close. Nope. Oh, that was a guy right there. Let's push up to the objective. Reload. But with this game being just so simple, I mean, and the fact that it's free, I just feel like the barrier to entry is so low. You know, even if this game is out for like a year, jumping into it, if you're like first time jumping in with how the game is right now, you don't need a lot of experience. You can just jump in and play. Abilities are really straightforward. I also think uh, they aren't overpowered. They are super well balanced. Uh, I'm actually going to go up this way. Try and flank these guys a little bit. See if I can help my team just a teensy. I get you. Yeah, figure there's someone here. Oh boy. <laughs> Want to get this done fast. Oh! <laughs> Didn't think there was going to be someone right there. This is about the only downside to the this escort mode. So I typically play um, like domination. Uh, I forget the name of it. It's essentially like headquarter uh, or hardpoint. It's essentially hardpoint. And then um, man, I'm just drawing blanks on names. There's also the mode that's kind of similar to breakthrough. Uh, zone capture, zone control, I think. Those are the modes I typically play, but I should have known he was there. <laughs> but there's these like kind of like core challenges. So before you go launch the game in like the Ubisoft launcher or whatever, there's uh, these like core challenges. And some of them are to complete various game modes, win various game modes. So I've been playing through those. Oh, good shot. So I have to do this uh, escort, and then I think it's called hot shots, which from my understanding is like kill confirmed. So I have to work through playing just those game modes. Oh boy. Yeah, that's one thing I'm not good at is looking at the minimap. So for Call of Duty, I'm a big 
hardcore fan. I typically play hardcore when I'm playing multiplayer, and I think I personally don't like bullet sponge games, so it's kind of weird that I'm actually like enjoying this game. I don't like having to shoot a whole bunch onto an enemy just to try and get the kill. Um, but with uh, playing hardcore mostly, darn, I tried to turn and get that guy. I heard the shots behind me as I was going for that third one. But typically, you know, in hardcore, there's no minimap. There's no uh, minimap in the HUD. You only get it when you get a UAV. So I'm personally kind of used to that. So I don't typically look up and try and find red dots or where my team is at and try and position based off that. So I'm kind of bad in that aspect. Try and get this up to the escort point. I think there's that. Oh, behind. Oh, my spider bot. I need to call him out. Go, spider bot. Let's try and chuck this over there. Got you. Is there someone right here? No. Nope. Okay. Be quick. Just get it to there. Just get it. Oh, he got me. Darn. Oh, my, my. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening? What was that? What? Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Um, you know, no game these days is without flaw. So I have had, you know, connection issues with this game. Not a whole lot, but frequent enough, you know, to be noticeable. And I know it seems to be kind of an issue. I've heard that they're going to kind of, in one of the updates coming up, do something with their net code. I've also had quite a few instances of, like, ghost bullets, like hits not registering. Ooh. Well, at least I'm I assume it's cases of bullets not registering. I mean, I've had some clear where it's like I was aiming right on that person and nothing was registering. But I've also had like a little opposite where I'm shooting at someone and the bullets are 100% registering. I'm getting like the hit marker icon on my screen and I'm getting the sound of the hit marker. But then the person will kill me and it will be like, oh, they still have 80 health. And so it's either that, um, oops, that was a little bad. It's either, oh, I got spider botted. <laughs> so in that case where I'm getting hit markers and it's showing, you know, 80 health, I'm either having hit marker issues or maybe that like health indicator is not 100% right. Maybe it's like they don't have 80 health. Could be something like that as well. Ow. Oop. So this game mode's pretty fun. The only downside to it that I can see is sometimes it does feel like I run really far distances to get to where the action is just to die like instantly as soon as I get there. We can, which can just be really frustrating when it happens over and over again. Let's throw the spider bot this way. Go. Go, spider bot, go. I think I like going this way. Let's chuck this here just in case. Oh. Darn. I think he's still here. Nope. Oh, let's help destroy this shield. Ooh, man. Probably should try and spec this gun a little bit more snappy. So, you know, normally in games, I, I, I like building more stable builds. I'm not necessarily all about, you know, making these super fast ADS run around the map guns. But you do kind of notice it more in this game, I feel like. So I probably should look into making something that way. 
Ooh, I didn't slide up that. Oh, spider bot. Nope. Yes, get back down that hill. Ooh. Couldn't see where the guy was. Okay, let's see if we can beat their time. 621. That is pretty quick. And they're probably going to be right out of these doors. So, Spider-Bot, go! Maybe not. Oh, Spider-Bot, no! Ah! Oh, thank you, teammate saved me. Let's chuck this out. Whoop. Turn around this side. This goes out right here. Did I get two there? Whoa. Oh, spider bot. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't see uh, two people lined up. Spider bot, go. Alright, it's moving back. So let's uh, try and get it to go forward. Should be able to from right here. Yep. Oh, I was wondering why I couldn't really move my mouse. No. Oh, how did that guy die? Did I kill him? There's no way I killed him. Let's try and destroy that. Okay, now let's push. Oh, we traded. Okay, maybe try the direct approach. Spider bot's on me. No. <laughs> Oh, it's retreating! No! Let's get it to go forward. That guy's up there. That's gonna... I was gonna say, that better be behind the shield, right? Aw. Oh, I was hoping that guy was gonna push back out, do the challenge. So I kept shooting onto that corner, but... He did not. Oh, I <laughs> got myself. I do that so much, actually. <laughs> not gonna lie. It feels like, to me, the flashbangs are just a little bit slower to go off than, like, Call of Duty. And so a lot of times I throw it and I like, in my mind, just think like, okay, it's, it's got to have gone off by now. And then I round the corner, I charge in, and just, bam, white screen. Okay, this left side isn't really working for me, but let's just see if I can maybe distract him with that. And then, oh, come down this way. Oh, that's a teammate. Okay, I'm going to try and keep my right side covered. Oh, and I just didn't see that guy. Man, the enemy team is doing really good right now. Oh! oh. <laughs> I saw that spider bot. I think he was the one that threw it. I saw it run, like, to my right, and I was like, oh, good, it's not coming after me. <laughs> that thing did a U-turn and got me, it looks like. Oh! Oh, how did I not get that? We gotta push forward though, even though we're just not gonna win. <laughs> even in 22 seconds, even if we were to stay completely on it, there's no way we're gonna get that. Bummer. Not even I could fix this huge embarrassing loss. Fifty-three point eight. Just over halfway. Man, yeah, that enemy team did really good. And initially, I thought, you know, when we were on the defense, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a fairly even match. But man, right in the end there, they did pretty good. Uh really holding us back there. But hope everyone enjoyed this video. Till the next one. Peace.